NFL and Madden. And now the offense will look to convert on third down. Throwing on third down, Stafford. It's caught, Jones. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down, got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively, a backbreaker. To throw is Stafford. And his throw here is incomplete. He was trying to get it to TJ Jones that time. And that'll bring up second down. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss a one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he missed five. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Michael Johnson. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Here's Stafford. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Cameron Wake in there to drop him, and back-to-back -back sacks now bring up fourth and long. And it appears to me that someone's defensive coordinator is jockeying for a raise. A sack on second and goal, a sack on third and goal, now brings up a decision on fourth down. So a big one there is that gives them a little cushion. And you know, here in the fourth quarter, the fact that they were able to bleed some time off the clock and put points on the board, even if it's only three, that could turn out to be the drive that ultimately wins them the game. And they finally get to him, but not before he's past the 45 to the 46-yard line. There's no downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession. And to get a return like that to start things off, that's the spark that they needed. That's the spark they were looking for. Bradford now to throw on first down. And he whips that one incomplete there. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. It's complete to Parker, left side. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. And give him a gain of 37. From the red zone now, Bradford. Caught at the seven and eventually brought down, but it's near the five at the six. Back to back, nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. This is caught. Gronkowski. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Now Bradford fighting to stay upright. And that is incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target. And it's third and short. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively? Keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion. Force them into going for three and not give it up. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Ziggy Ansah in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. And they put it in the end zone, which was job one. Now they have to convert. And then it's decision time, isn't it? Yeah, so this is what all teams go through. You look at the clock, you're inside two minutes. Look at your timeouts. Make that onside kick decision. Yeah, how do you feel about your defense, where you are in terms of the scoreboard, and the time left on the clock, as you noted? So many things to go through. On the return, here comes Amir Abdullah. 
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with. And Abdullah lost the football. It's going the other way. And in for the score. Are you kidding me? They return it, and they take the lead. And that is a tough pill to swallow. All they had to do, Charles, keep the ball, work this clock. The only way for the defense to win was to force the fumble. And they did. Took it the other way for a score. And now, if you're the offensive team, it will take a miracle, perhaps, to win this ball game. Now Bullock to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is taken near the 13. Oh, look at the juke. Oh, and now he bowls him over. So the Lions offense ready to go back out onto the field. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They called these. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. And does the defense have it? They do, says the referee. We're going the other way. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. They'll run it now out of the gun. Get there, tackle down at the one. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Bradford on the keeper, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Sam Bradford scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And his guys capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. And Detroit getting set to go now. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good work. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that what again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. A shotgun snap for Stafford. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And that'll bring up a third down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. 
Now Stafford. And Tate's got it. 17 yards on the pickup there and also a first down. First down at Stanford. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. William Jackson with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback. But as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. And he'll power his way up near the 25. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a... Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Follow me on social media. And once again... Thanks for watching.